Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I was reading in the Word today, and I was in 1 Chronicles 28. And I was reading and reading through this whole thing, and it's David speaking. And he gets to verse 6, and it really just touched me. And it says the following, New King James Version, 1 Chronicles 28, verse 6. Now he said to me, and by he, he's referring to Yahweh. It is your son, Solomon, who shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. How amazing is that statement to David about his son? God, most high, creator of heaven and earth, telling David, your son, Solomon, Shilamu, will be my son, and I, God, will be his father. How blessed are you to have that statement said about your son? How blessed is Solomon to have those words spoken about him from the lips of God? And I thought, wow, that is amazing. How incredible. Imagine God saying something like that about you. And then you go to Galatians 4 verse 6. And because you are sons... God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Galatians 3.26 For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. John 1 verse 12 But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of of God to those who believe in his name. We, through Jesus Christ and the sacrifice on the cross, the redemptive work that has brought us who were afar off near to him through his blood, we have been given the right to be called children of God, adopted by the creator of heaven and earth, brought near and into the family of God. And so 2 Corinthians 6 verse 18 is now spoken to you. The same way that he was speaking to Solomon with this scripture, he speaks to you today. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. So we've begun by seeing what God spoke of Solomon and how special that is and how the process has taken place very shortly to the most powerful statement in creation directed at all of us who have received that free gift that Jesus gave and have become children of God and he is our father. Let that bless you today. Shalom.